You guys, are you okay? Like, are you not seeing this red? Hey! Welcome back. Mm, let me hydrate my lips. Hi guys, welcome back to Styled by Toyo. But first, you guys should get into the skin. Even though I'm breaking out here, my skin still looks good. It looks glowy. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe I'm deceiving myself. You already know the vibes. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. I'm going to be showing you how to obtain the perfect red lip look for dark skinned girls like me if you're new to this channel do yourself a favor and subscribe because you won't want to miss any videos without further ado let's get into the video so today i'm going to be beating my face showing you guys the full process then you guys will see the red lip look how i obtain it i'm going to like it's not going to be too detailed because this video is mainly to show you how I obtain my red lip. But today I'm going to try and talk through the video and explain as I go instead of like adding a voiceover. Things first, obviously, it's time to do my brows. I have to brush my brow hair. I like it when it's very neat. Then I use my pencil. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. I think it's for eyeliner or something, but like I use it for my brows. It's very creamy and it's like three dollars. You have to warm it up a bit sometimes because I left it open, so that's why I want it. I don't know if I like. Anyway, let me try and do a naturalish look today because clearly, maybe that's where God is leading me to. Um, my talking didn't last long. I started talking about something else and that was way off topic. So I ended up like muting myself. So you guys should just like sit back and relax and watch. I'm just concealing my brows now. I'm going to talk later on but like for now, I'm not just disregarding my lips moving. Okay, so I think they are even. I'm not, even, I'm not even done with this side. I want to change the technique I use. No, actually, I'm not going to change it, but like I want to use another technique for today's tutorial. So all I do is blend it in, and then I take my Laura Mercier powder instead of my MAC Cosmetics Press Powder on the same brush, and I just set my eyelids with it. This is my this was my first technique. But I found the other technique cleaner. I think you should be able to use this with any setting powder or loose powder. So this is how I prep my eyelids for eyeshadow. I don't mind using this if I'm rushing. This is a very quick technique. So I'm done with that. So what I'm going to do now is just go straight into my skin work. Because I don't know if I want to do anything to my eyelids yet. And honestly, normally I do my eyeshadow last. Instead of be at the beginning like my last tutorial. I find it faster, honestly. Let's get into the skin work. So I'm just going to prime my face off, off camera. I'm going to be using the Becca primer and the Smashbox primer. So I'm going to go in with my foundation now. My face is all primed. I use the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in shade New Orleans dark too so i don't know how many pumps i use so let me just count today so i'm going to do my forehead first i'm going to cover my concealer so i'll just take two pumps for now this is two pumps it comes out very small and it's very liquidy so yeah so i'm just going to use the foundation to cover the concealer i basically act like i'm concealing my brow again with the foundation Maybe one day I'll try concealing my brows with foundation and see how it goes maybe there's no point of what i'm doing but i don't know there probably is a difference. So I'm done with this brow. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. Divide my brows. I always do it in this V shape so that it fades in both ways. And I just spread around my forehead and I'll blend it out before it dries. <laughs> I'm done with my forehead. Now I'm going to apply foundation on my face. One, two, three. But see three pumps. Like it's not like that much. So four, five, six. I think that's too much. But like let's go. 
I like doing very long strokes downwards. I don't know why. It just makes me feel more professional for some reason. And I feel like the foundation gets distributed evenly. So one, two, three. I'm gonna put on my nose before I forget. So my face is completely covered and I know I'm orange. But makeup is a process. I always look mad before the end of the video. So I use the stippling method. That's just like tapping it into it. Like I don't rub it. When you rub it, it moves the foundation rather than like keep it in place. So you just keep tapping it into the skin, no matter how long it takes. Just going to blend the excess to my skin. I say my skin to my neck. So my foundation has been applied. Now time to highlight my face. I'm actually trying to go for a natural look today. Hopefully it comes out natural because I don't think I know how to do natural makeup. So I always do it underneath my eye, sometimes to my brows, but it doesn't really have to because this is the dip in my eye. My cheekbone is right here and this is the dip part. So this is where I'm meant to highlight. You can see my nose is very round, so that's why I highlight very close to the center of my nose. Just to reduce the roundness in quotes, make it a little bit more snatched. So yeah, I'm going to do the same for the other side. So I usually put it here, but I want to see how it goes without putting it there and see if I like it. Actually, I put small, not too much. And then I'm going to put underneath my eye. So this is what I came to. I'll see how it goes, because normally I conceal this whole part. Because I don't know why, whenever I don't conceal here, it looks like I have a beard because here, everywhere under my highlight is darker than here. I hope I don't change my mind later. So I'm just putting it down the bridge of my nose. I'm trying my best to make it straight, but if it's not straight, I know that I'm going to still contour. So when I contour, I can make it straight later on. Put some on my forehead. I noticed that putting concealer on my forehead really brightens my face. Because when one time I didn't do, I didn't put concealer on my forehead and my face looked darker and I didn't know why. I like how dark it looked, but like I still like highlighting my forehead. Then on my chin, I barely conceal my chin, but when I don't, it's actually obvious. I don't know why, I notice everything about my makeup. So now I'm going to contour, contour my cheekbones. I contour behind my brows because I like the focus being on this side. So basically contouring this reduces the attention on the side of the sides of my face so focusing on mainly here and that's how I understand contouring I like smiling because I like applying the contour to my cheeks I don't know what it is about it but I do it like that and instead of just contouring straight to my lip I can I try to contour upwards like closer to here so it is like this an L a small letter L this way Another day, I'll actually do a proper contouring video. Showing you your face and everything. How to know how to contour your own face. But that'll be later on. I do the same thing. I like it coming this way, then coming a little bit up. I like it show. It has to show from the front that you contoured. I don't know. I don't know. If it's only showing in front, I don't like it. So this is my cheekbone here. So I basically contour around my cheekbone to my cheek. This is my cheek. I'll still be posting a more detailed contour tutorial but this is what you get for it now. I contour my jawline sometimes just for the fun of it because I don't really think I need to contour my jawline. I don't contour my forehead. I don't like contouring my forehead. I like the size of my forehead. I'm going to be using this flat brush. Whichever one works for you. So after I do all this after I blend everything out I still go back to highlight my nose because I like it very highlighted and defined so I'm going to blend this in now this quarantine time is the best time to practice your makeup because you're literally not going anywhere the best time to practice your eyeliner just keep trying try new methods try it in a different way don't just keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result do something new watch a YouTube video and try the method the person used rather than just doing the same thing and expecting a different result because that's the thing I used to do before when I was learning makeup I will try the same thing over and over again and it will come out well and right now when I think about like no shit like how is it going to come out different if I'm doing the same thing take your time spend like three hours on it on one face beat and see how it goes you're not going anywhere so it doesn't really matter i mean it's a waste of makeup but it's not a waste of makeup if you're learning something from it i honestly feel like the best way to learn at least for my tutorial i feel like the best way to learn is actually do it as i do it so as you can see i blend from outside inwards so i blend the contour then i blend my eyelids and i blend my nose so i blend my forehead like i blend it 
outwards inwards because it's, this is the main focus this is, uh, your, this is where your features are everything should come together to the middle that's how i see it that's how i understand it anyways i blended my contour you can see it's darker but you can't see a line and i'm still going to highlight underneath the contour to make it more it's still showing in front so that is what you want to get you want it to still show when you're looking at you now i'm just blending my under eye the bondage way concealer is so good honestly it's full coverage like it's worth how much it's worth as you can see everything is blending into each other you just keep tapping it in if you rub it it's going to give strokes so i basically blend everything i want so everything plus the contour is blending together i leave the middle line just so that it's still brighter than everything else but i blend the contour in as much as i can blend my chin in you sit down. I told you before, I'm going to highlight my nose again because I like it very bright. So I'm just going to add a bit more contour because I think I messed up. I don't know what the fuck that accent was. So now it's time to bake. I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier today and then I'm going to also add my Huda Beauty powder just to make it a bit brighter because it. Laura Mercier gives you a very a much darker highlight than this one and this one doesn't set as well as this one so give and take so I'm going to just take some powder on my brush and set my under eye just like I set my eyelids you can see it sets it immediately like the powder is so good I wish they just had a yellow one I'm going to tap the excess on my nose and on my forehead because I will use the Huda Beauty to make it very bright. I'm going to add here because here still looks creamy and it's not supposed to look creamy. I feel the way the way you know that you've set your eyelid or you've set your concealer well is if it's not looking creamy anymore. If it's still creamy, just know it's going to crease. This is proper giving me natural vibes. I'm done with that. I'm going to now add the Huda Beauty powder on top just to make it a little bit brighter. I don't blend it in like I did for the Laura Mercier. I'm just going to place this powder on top of where I applied the Laura Mercier. Just like that. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in Mocha Mami. I'm just going to apply this like I'm applying blush. It has a very warm undertone. Can you see me? I'm going to apply it directly underneath my contour. I apply it upwards because I'm raising my face up. I'm going to dust off the powder. So now I'm using this fluffy brush. I used it before to highlight my nose. I'm going to use it to contour my nose now. I meant to contour it close to your brows and let it blend into it. When it blends into it, it looks more natural. I'm going to now add blush because I can't go anywhere without blush. So I'm going into my Morphe 35B palette. I'm going to be using this color. See the color? It's so like peachy. Lashes. I'm going to put on my lashes off camera. Should I be off camera? Let me find the lashes first. Then I'll. So today I'm going to be using the Kitana lashes from the from the Depox collection. I was sent these lashes and honestly I love them. Like they're different from the lashes I normally use, but like it's fine. They're very cute and they're very full. They make my eyes open. So let's see if I can do this on camera. So now I'm going to highlight my face while I wait for the lashes to dry. I'm going to be using the Hyper Real Glow Highlighter. I'm using this shade, the darkest shade. I apply it with the Morphe brush. This is the brush I apply my highlighter with all the time. The Morphe M441 brush. This brush was given to me by someone. She didn't know how to use it and I just said I feel like I'll be able to use it. So I've used my highlighter since then. I see my cheekbone is here. I apply it right on the line 
but you have to do it in circular motion so it blends rather than just being a line. To make your highlighter pop more, I crush the highlighter a bit and make it into powder form. The brush picks up more when it's in powder form. I don't know if you guys see the difference. Okay, so like I like smiling when I'm applying my highlighter. It makes my smile glowier and brighter. I'm going to apply on my nose. I take with my finger, then I rub it a little bit on my nose. And I apply in my tear drop just to brighten up the whole look. I'm done with my skin work, I'm done with my lashes, so all that's left is my lip. So let's get into this. So you guys, let me show you the four products I'm going to be using today. So this is the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in shade Limitless Brown. I always use brown liner first, then I add red lip liner to just like blend it together because I like the dark outline. And this red lip liner from MAC in shade Brick. Then I have my Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored by Fenty Beauty and also my MAC Cosmetics lipstick in Ruby Woo. The first thing you need to do is sharpen your lip liner pencil or if you are using a crayon no problem but like sharpen your pencil if it's sharp it gives a better result. I'm going to line my lip with the brown pencil first. So I'm going to put in some lip balm on. I like overlining my lips. I like my lips looking out there so I clench my lips together. I can see this line, this natural lip line you have. So that's what I'm going to line. I maybe go a little bit, just like a line back, like behind my lip line, so that it gives the 3D effect or whatever. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. So can you see the difference between this side and this side? I'll line you normally, how normal people line their lips before I actually overline it again. Like the cool blue light. So see the difference between this side and this side. This is my exact lip line and I went just a little bit back on this side. So this one looks more out there and this one just looks like my lips which is fine but just if you want to get the overline effect you have to go a bit behind your lip line. <laughs> I'm going to line it normally underneath. It's only the top part that I overline. So, I'm done with the brown. So, I'm going to go in with the red and just make it a little bit redder. Concealer and foundation just to like make the bottom part neater because I don't know why it's looking on the So you can see it's already getting that like burgundy color and that's the that's the color I'm trying to get for the outer part. So this is the ruby wool. So this one is like crayon. I just apply it there. see it is still looking red but it's looking very dull so that's where the stunner comes in the stunner lipstick brightens the lip and makes it red but like radiant red so this one is just for like the base So you can see it's already looking red. If this red is your color, cause I'm loving this red looky, looky. I feel like leaving it like this, but that's not what we came here for. We didn't come here to just like it. We came here to love this lip. So this stunner, it is so pigmented and it always stains my teeth. So let's see how it goes. Can you see 
Nuts. You guys, are you okay? Like, are you not seeing this red? Hey, go ahead. Don't fuck with me, what? I look like a doll. This is actually the hair look I was planning on going for, so like, I'm just going to come back with my jewelry and maybe change. I'll change and come back with a look for you guys, what I'm wearing today. So, stay tuned. <laughs> from pretty two things i matched it with this white top one handed top it has a cute design i got it from depop and this bag is from calvin klein i'm a size four so this skirt is a size four this is a small and yeah this is my fit for today thank you for clicking this video Thank you for watching this far. Thank you for being here. And if you got to the end of the video, please comment hashtag yeah. I was so happy to see people that actually commented in the last video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye.